Welcome back everyone. So like I said in a previous video, if something new ever came out about the Delphi murders, I would definitely gladly make a video about it. But if not, I was probably going to take a break from making videos about Delphi. And it seems that recently uh, a little bit of news has come out. Now, to be honest, this is pretty weak as far as, you know, again, and I use this word loosely, news goes. But it does seem that there is someone new being investigated in connection with the Delphi murder. And now I do want to say this, and I'm going to say this again later on in the video, that you should exercise caution and not get too excited uh, at, this, at this prospect of this person being investigated, again, in connection with the Delphi murder. And there really is no strong connection between this guy and the Delphi murders outside of the type of crime this guy committed and his proximity to Delphi both of which I'll touch on again later in the video. But again, just I wouldn't get too overly optimistic about the prospects of this particular you know, person of interest. And I, again, I'll say this later, but this person is not at this time a suspect, just someone that they're looking into in possible relation to the Delphi murder. So uh, again, I found this on Reddit. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that is where I go for most of my news about the Delphi murders. That's where I go if I wanted to talk about the Delphi murders other than here as well. That is a pretty good spot to talk about this case, and it is still fairly active uh, despite how old this case is and despite the fact that this case seemingly, you know, for the most part, kind of gets colder every day as time goes on. But anyways, I'll leave a link to that in the description if you don't use uh, that subreddit. Uh, it is a good place, I think, to talk about the case and get some news about the case as well. So again, I'll leave the link in the description uh, to the subreddit. But anyways, moving on, there's an article uh, and a couple of different, um, not a couple of different websites, not too many, uh, and none of them uh, very, very mainstream, you know, no CNN, no Fox News, NBC, nothing like that. Um, some true crime websites have had articles about this, and then there was one, uh, which you're seeing now is from a website called the Hoosier Times, which of course is an Indiana-based news site. And being from Ohio, I wasn't familiar with it. I hadn't heard of it. I actually hadn't heard of any of the sites that have covered this story. And like I said earlier, you know, I haven't seen CNN or Fox or NBC or any larger media companies pick up this story. So, you know, take from that what you want. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the article. So obviously it says, Attempted murder defendant investigated for ties to Delphi killing. So this article is about a man named James Chadwell. Here he is again. I'll put his picture back up later on after I'm done talking about the article. So I picked out what I think are the most important parts of this article. Uh, a link will be in the description if you want to read it for yourself. Uh, I said earlier this screenshot was from the Hoosier Times website that has a paywall i have found this exact same article on another website for free you just have to turn ad block off so i'll leave that link in the description if you want to read it yourself but i think i've picked out the most important parts and you probably won't wouldn't need to read it if you're not that interested or you just don't feel like it so anyways getting into the article so lafayette indiana which is very close to delphi i'll get to that later like i said and he was moving on. Detectives investigating the February 13, 2017 killings of Libby German and Abby Williams have taken notice of James Brian Caldwell II. Tippecanoe County prosecutors accuse Chadwell of luring a nine-year-old girl into his house at 714 Park Avenue on April 19th. Once inside his house, Chadwell allegedly beat the girl, sexually assaulted her, and locked her in the basement until police knocked on his door. Prosecutors have charge Chadwell with attempted murder, child molesting, attempted child molesting, kidnapping, criminal confinement, battery resulting in serious bodily injury and strangulation. They also filled or filed a sentence enhancing charge of being a habitual offender, which if guilty could add between six and 20 years to Chadwell's sentence. So again, like I said, this was in Lafayette, Indiana, which according to Google Maps is 24 minutes from Delphi, Indiana. So again, like I said earlier, one of the main things, uh, one of the main reasons he's being investigated is simply one, the nature of his crimes. Obviously, he has sex sexually assaulted, abducted this girl who is obviously in the general age range of Abby 
and Libby, not the same age, but again, you know, same general age. Um, so again, like I said, the simple fact that his crimes that he's being charged with are of the same nature, and then obviously his proximity to Delphi, which again, as you can see, is only 20 minutes away from Lafayette, where this took place. So moving on back to the article, uh, this again, like I said earlier, is something to keep in mind uh, when you're thinking about this and discussing this. Chadwell is not the first person accused of an ab abduction crime who has been investigated as a person of interest in the Delphi murders. None of the other people of interest turned out to be a suspect. And as of right now, April 27th, James Chadwell isn't a suspect either. He's just someone being investigated, uh, you know, looking for any connection that he might have with the Delphi murders. Again, you know, obviously he kidnapped this girl, nine years old, and he lives 20 minutes away from Delphi. So, you know, that does uh, raise some flags that, you know, might point to his possible connection to the Delphi murders. But again, those are the only two things really linking him to Delphi at all. As far as I know, there isn't anything that else that would lead us to believe, you know, blatantly that this guy would be involved in the Delphi murders. You know, maybe, maybe he has friends and family in Delphi. I don't know. That information wasn't available at this time. So maybe there is a connection, but, you know, as far as I know, there is, for the most part, really no actual connection between this guy and the Delphi murders. So I'm not too optimistic about this turning out to be anything. Um, here's his picture again next to the sketches, a bridge guy like I showed in the thumbnail. Uh, I just wanted to pull that up real quick uh, so you guys can look at these side by side again. But back to what I was saying, there isn't really any strong connection between him and Delphi. There really isn't any connection. So like I said, I'm not going to get my hopes up, and I don't think you should either. It is interesting, and I will, you know, keep an eye out for more information about this. I'm going to continue to follow this, and hopefully, you know, maybe there is a connection. I don't know. Um, obviously, we all just kind of want this case to be over. Um, you know, I'd like nothing more, obviously. Uh, this is a case that kind of sticks with you and can get kind of annoying. It's hard to get out of your head, you know, thinking about... Uh, not just the fact that they were murdered, Abby and Libby, but the fact that obviously Bridge Guy or the murderer, whatever you want to call him, uh, hasn't been caught, you know, is still out there for the most part. Obviously, he could have died, you know, from various causes, but, you know, for the most part, you know, I believe that he's out there, and obviously I'm sure most people do as well, and that, I think, weighs heavily on you. Uh, this is, again, a case that does weigh heavy uh, more so than most cases, I would say, and at least in my opinion, and for the most part, lately, I have uh, not been following this too closely. I've been, again, trying to stay away from it. But again, this was a weak news story. And I, I really just wanted to make another video about the Delphi murders. So I kind of just jumped on the possibility to make this. So here are the FBI Wanted posters. I'll leave them on for like 10 seconds. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, look out for more information about this. Uh, investigation into this James Chadwell guy. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think it'll probably just dead in, like it said in the article. You know, not, a lot of other guys have been investigated uh, who have committed, an, uh, you know, obviously abduction or similar crimes in the area who were in a close proximity to Delphi. Um, and obviously those haven't turned up anything. And I don't think this will either, unfortunately. But anyways, you know, I did want to bring this up. Uh, I have seen it on Reddit, but that's really the only place, again, like I said, that I've seen it. I haven't really seen it covered on any huge, you know, media sources. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one.